Hello, my brewers. How are you all doing? This is James of the Brew Show, and I'm joined once again by the man, the one, the only Arafat Ahmed. Today, no beer. Today, no beer. Mm -hmm. Charlie. Arafat, yes. how's your month been? Oh, it has been very, very hectic, and I see the condition going on in the country. But we are still surviving, and I'm sure that God Almighty keep us strong. Sure, sure. Have you watched the YouTube film? Yes, I had the privilege of watching a lot of the matches. And it has been very enjoyable. There are a lot of goals, wonderful goals, a lot of teams proving themselves to be champions. Yes. Let's, for example, let's take a budget and cheap food. Very, very wonderful. Yes. And a team I didn't expect to be to be performing well and fully so like the Giants, they proved so far that they are a wonderful team for this tournament. Yeah, yeah. No goals considered. No goals considered. Seven goals in all. The defense has been tight. The midfield solid, and the attackers wow. So they are they have been at the top of their performance, and I hope they continue this way and it will surely bring a good results to the country. So what's been your best game of the tournament so far? So far, my best game has been between um, Germany and Portugal. Okay. Because the first game against France, Germany really pushed France. But they were not able to produce that final touch to be able to push France to the edge. But against Portugal, they did it wonderfully. I thought they would do the same thing against Angle, but they came back to the default mode. But I'm, I'm sure if they continue this way, it will help them a lot. Because they are really, uh, they attack a lot. They attack a lot. So these are the type of matches we want to see. We don't want to see people lazing down in their matches, then winning. So take, take a team like France. We know they can do it, but they are lazing down. They are putting their eggs in one basket, Mbappe. Yeah. And I'm sure one, when the time comes and he's not putting in the work, they will, they will really. It will, it will really affect them. Okay. So I'm sure for me, Germany against Portugal have been the best match so far for me. Okay. My favorite match so far will be Netherlands versus um, Ukraine. Wow, that's a really nice Yes, that's a, that's so a nice we're done with the group stages. Yes. 16 teams have advanced and eight have unfortunately gone home. Mm -hmm. And, um, the and fixes, I'm sorry to say, mm -hmm. angry, I'm really sorry for angry for being eliminated from this tournament because they, they really did so far is the best they did very well they were underdog and they proved themselves to be a great team so good us to angry teams i i personally wish poland have qualified especially the way they fought back from the magic of the yes yeah, so. it's, it's rather sad but we wish them the best in future tournaments mm -hmm. so i have had the fixtures for the round of 16 yes Wales versus Denmark, yes. Italy versus Austria, mm -hmm. Netherlands, Czech Republic, yes. Switzerland, France, wow. Sweden, Ukraine, mm -hmm. and three very, very juicy ones for me to bring at the end. Belgium, Portugal, wow. England, Germany, and Croatia versus Spain. <clears throat> My boss, which one do you want to bring first? Uh, let's start with the underdog first. Okay, so yes. Wales, Denmark? Wales, Denmark, yes. Mm -hmm. Wales, Denmark, um, they are underdogs, they do, I'm sure, so far they performed brilliantly, especially Denmark, because the first game was a sure win for them, but because of what happened, the incidents yeah. that happened, they are key player, yeah. they have to forgo and play it through. But Mr. Henry said, wherever yes. you are, please, we all wish you a speedy recovery. Yes. Do the best you can, yes. you can Because do we need more nice kick boost. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I hope I hope you will actually be allowed to play. Yeah. So it's, it's for this tournament, I'm not sure. No, not for the tournament, but like for the rest of the tournament. Yes, player. he's bound to. Let's let's hope so. Let's hope so. So for that, I mean, for me, Wales has been a good team, but Denmark will surely feel good. So you took Denmark. Yes, I took Denmark. That's good. And then um, Sweden, Ukraine, the battle of the blue and yellow. Ukraine, yes, that will be a very it will be very defensive. Very defensive, but Sweden, what they did in the group stage was very, very special. Yeah, they, 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 
like they've performed, they've all their key areas, they've worked on all. So I have a question for you. From that match, who do you think is going to stand out more? Forsberg or Yamalenko? Um, I think Forsberg. So now that mean I'm, Sweden I'm is going to win awesome. or Sweden, Forsberg will prove themselves. Um, Forsberg will prove himself better. And I'm sure that will make Ukraine um, a Sweden prevail. Mm-hmm. Ukraine, they are good, but the character, I don't, I, I don't sure they have the character. But Sweden, they prove themselves to have the character to continue with this tournament. Mm-hmm. Yes, because Ukraine, I think Ukraine met Spain, right? It was no, Ukraine not, met um, Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> Ukraine, Netherlands. Yeah. Uh, so for. There was Sweden and Spain. Sweden, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Cool. Okay, so so far you took Denmark, Denmark, and Sweden, yes, so Denmark. Four, Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now speaking of Netherlands, mm-hmm. they are taking on the Czech, Czech Republic, Republic and my player of the tournament so far, the sick Patrick Schick. Wow, Patrick Schick is a wonderful striker. Yes, he has he has done everything that a striker is needed to do uh, to do in this tournament. Mm-hmm. But the Netherlands, it's, it's, it's too easy for him to. To go on, like they, I, they played against Croatia right in the last match. Yeah. And Croatia, they, they played England in their last match, but they played Croatia and had yeah. a one or one. Yes, yeah. So, I think looking at the, their big matches, they didn't really show up. So, for Netherlands, since Netherlands is bigger than anything they played in the group series, yeah, so sure they, they, they played England and they played Croatia, walk up finals and walk up winners. Still, Netherlands is a better and it was the team. The team is strong. Everyone mm-hmm. team is very strong. For this tournament, they are very strong. Looking at their, especially their captain, yeah. why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's everywhere on the pitch. He's just everywhere. He's, he's trying to impress his new owners. Yes. 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 So, who do you think? So, I take Netherlands. You took Netherlands, yeah. Okay. I want to throw my heart behind <laughs> Czech Republic, but okay. it means Sheikh has to have a very good game. Yes. Okay. Switzerland, France. Switzerland, France. This can we have an upset? Yes, yes, there can be an upset. Switzerland have been a team that when they go against big teams, they create a lot of um, these problems for the teams. They have been a very strong team for a bigger side. As if you look at the World Cup against Spain, mm-hmm. they did the same thing. So I'm sure if they are able to get the first goal, they can they can cause damage to the French national team. Okay. And uh, what do France have to do to avoid being uh, France, they've, so far, they've, that's what I'm saying, they've been putting their head in one basket. Mbappe. Mbappe. So for me, I think what they should do is to hold the ball more and try to involve all the players in the group. We look at the World Cup, when they won the World Cup. All the players in the team scored. Yes, it was not, uh, the team was, was not relied on only Mbappe. So I think if they start such it will really help them because just in Bappi, anything can happen. You can get a certain thing, so they should work. So that brings me to a very nice question I've been waiting to ask. If you were in the shot shoes, are you still going to back Benzema or would you be playing Yes, I'll play Benzema. You still play Benzema? I'll play Benzema because he helps, he comes back to push the team forward. Do you know that's a unique Hold up, yes, because he is a typical nine, so he stays there when the ball comes, he puts it in the net. Benzema doesn't have that quality, but he helps the France national team. For now, what the France national team needs is players, a striker who can come to push the ball for them. But he should also learn that he's a striker, he should be in the box. So when the ball comes, he should be in the box waiting for the ball. So I'm sure if they correct one or two mistakes, they will be able to advance through. So who do you think is going to win? So France, um, Switzerland will cause, may cause an upset to France, but France, uh, my, my hands is on the France national team to qualify. Okay, so guys, so far, the Denmark World's match, Arafat has thrown the start behind the Scandinavians. Um, I want to be biased and say Wales. So I think we are split over there. Then last Czech Republic, he says the Dutch will win. I say the Czechs are progressing. Sweden, Ukraine, I think it's safe to say both of us are throwing our hearts behind Sweden. And Switzerland, France, he says France should win. I don't think I can disagree with that. 
So we've broken down four matches so far, and we are getting to the final set of games for the round of 16. And I want to start with my friend Nino's favorite um, team so far, the Italians, the Azuri, that we will not concede no matter what. Please, how are Austria going to survive? This match, I'm sorry to say, it will be a um, a rape case. Okay. Yes. Okay. The, the Italians will drag the Austria teams in the match. Okay. Yes. Let me try and clean it up a little bit. He said something. I'm going to switch. It's going to be a flawless victory. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you think is going to be the start player for Italy? It, uh, for Italy, so far, all their players have been performing wonderfully. Look at Lucatelli, I don't Chesa, um, uh, Mobili, uh, even the uh, uh, Basim, Verratti, and Ku. So, standout player. Uh, I'll give it to Verratti. Yes, Personally, I've enjoyed watching a traditional number nine play in mm -hmm. um, I wish Belotti could also step up a bit, but so if, the, if the main striker is doing the job, what do we need the second striker for? And now I've saved the best for last. Ah, fact, mm -hmm. Belgium, Portugal, England, Germany, Croatia, Spain. Which one do you want to tackle first? Let's go with Spain, Croatia. Okay. Would the experience of the Croatian midfield be too much for the Spanish or would the quality of the Spanish squad shine through? Oh, quality of the Spanish squad will surely shine through. Croatia has a good team, but they can't be able to hold the, um, hold the ball against the Spain national team because that is their specialty. You know, that is what will give Spain the advantage to take on the Croatian team. But isn't that what we said? And some of us were still looking down on Croatia and we saw them in the World Cup final of three years ago. Yes, they were able to advance. But when they passed to what it was very helpful. Looking at the even for the the way the tables for the um, Euros, you can see Spain they are at the top there. You have Spain, France, Italy, Portugal, Belgium, they are big teams. So it's difficult to see Croatia advancing to the semis in this or the finals in this um, um, fixtures given. I don't see them going and even for the for them to even move the Spain national team. I don't see it. Although Spain hasn't been performing as we we hoping them to do, but I'm sure the knockout stage will be a different setting. Okay. Before we tackle the the final two games of the of the round of sixteen. Who has been the flop of the tournament so far? Flop of the tournament. Mm. I, I, I don't want to put a lot of names in the hat, but mm. personally, I've been very disappointed by Bruno Fernandes mm. and Alvaro Morata. Yeah. I know there are others. I mean, Harry Kane still hasn't managed more than three shots on target in the tournament. Um, Charlie, then Chow. Then Chow. Chow. <laughs> Me, I'll give it to Thiago Alcantara. As the a flop. Of tournament. Okay. Yes, that'll be on my top list. Then mm -hmm. the Bruno Fernandes will come because Thiago Akatara, when the the golden era of the Spain national team, you have Xavi, Iniesta, Busquets, Xavi, Alonso, all in the midfield. We would understand if you were not uh, part of the first selection. <laughs> but now look at the players in the midfield. Pedri is ahead of you. Yes, mm -hmm. there is Pedri, there is um, Rodri, mm -hmm. um, there is Busquets. Yes. So by now. Yes, okay. yes. He should have improved on his game to be able to break into the Spain national team. And when he comes in, there's no difference in the game that he is. Uh, yeah, so the value is the same. So I, I seem to be the flop of the tournament. All right, yes. All right. Now, we have two dicey, exciting matches to wrap this discussion with. Let's start with the battle of Wembley. Wembley. England, England versus Germany. Germany. Traditional rivals meet again. Mm. Germany surely will move through. I'm, I'm oh, putting yeah. my win on Germany. Okay. The German national team have been solid. There's the energy there. Yes, and they've been possessive. And against Portugal, you can see them producing four goals against a very, very solid side. And so for that 
option only. Although England, they have the roots with the, but they don't have the one, England, they don't have the character. Two, they, they are not angry enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see them to be I'll, angry I'll, enough. I like to play devil's advocate here. One, because I'm British, and two, because Charlie is England. Yes. They, they don't have the character, yes. I agree. But it takes a special something to bring out character, right? Mm. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are three teams England hates to lose to. Yes. Scotland, Argentina, and Germany. Mm. If there was ever a game for the English to rise above mediocrity, surely it has to be the German. Germans. Yes, I'm sure they will try to convince themselves that, yes, because they are playing against the Germans, they will put in their, a lot of effort. Germans will do the same thing. Yes, yes. So because likewise, they don't want to use yes. the English. But one thing is, too much of mistake in, in any side of the team is what will make the other team prevail. And I'm sure England will do more of that mistakes. Yes, that is mine. Okay. Option. Would do you agree with um, Southgate not starting Sancho in any of the three matches so far? Yeah. Or yes, anything? yes. But the team, the players is starting. Yeah, I think Sancho is not. Should, yeah, he should be in the bench. Then when he comes in, he too can put in some performance. You mean for five yes. minutes for the whole, for yes. the whole tournament so far. It's okay because for I don't see him like being a key player in this England national team. I don't seem to be a key player. So it's where he is, it's okay because anything happens, he can be put in to change the game. So, yes. I was personally hoping that Sancho would have been lighting up the tournament so far so that he can do wonders and join a certain club. A certain club, right here. Um, I don't want to mention names, but I'm sure you guys get the picture, right? Okay, okay. I think we saved the cream for this very lovely cake. Portugal defending champions against Belgium. Please, what should we expect? Portugal will win. Portugal, Portugal will should win. Portugal will qualify. Okay. Is a certain number seven going to continue his goal scoring feat? Yes, of course. Or is the other number seven going to show why he's the best playmaker in the world right now? There won't be a mistake in this game. Please, somebody has a middle in their defense. Yes. The middle has been very, very faulty. I'm sure I could be a better right back. It's true, but. Thank you. I would be a better right back. It yes. is true. It's true. It's true. I've seen him play. Yeah. He'll be a better right back. Wow. But Portugal team, we've seen them do this in their last tournament. Yes. They were third, and when we got to the knockout stage, they put in more than they put in in the group stage. So I'm sure that is what will help them in the knockout stage. So we can't push the Portugal team out just now. Okay. Devils advocates once again, what do the Red Devils of Belgium have to do to prove that this is their tournament? Yeah, How they, can they beat Portugal? Yeah, they just have to dominate the game. That For me, that is, is what we have been. The way German, German, the Germans played against Portugal, if they are able to put that effort, I'm sure they will eliminate Portugal very easy. Okay. So, okay. Guys, we've broken down eight exciting fixtures for you. Please share your thoughts. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree? Our fact has thrown his heart behind a lot of big teams. I've also done my best, played the Golden Bucket somewhere, just to spot the pots more. Charlie, the Euros, the Euros has shown us why we love watching European football, whether club or international. It always delivers. Now, our fact, in wrapping up, who do you take to win? The crown. So far, I'll give it to the Azures. Give it to the yes. So far, they've been really, they are the team who have very really impressed me a lot. So I'm putting my egg with the Azures. Okay. no matter how hard I try, I can't see any other team um, <laughs> getting past them. But just to make it a bit more exciting, I will say this if Portugal actually managed to get to the semi finals, then they are defending their crown. If a certain three lion outfit manages to surprise everybody and get to the semi-finals, yeah, well, let's let's see what happens. I want you to know, win, but I've been saying that since 1998, and we've not got to anywhere. Yes. fact, in wrapping up, would you like to tell them how they can contact you? Ah, okay. So 
I can be contacted on my social media and those uh, Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, all at Stabingi. Stabingi, S T A B I N G, Stabingi. So that is my social media. And I thank you for being in the show once again. Thank you very much. And may the Almighty continue to bless us and move the show forward so that we get a lot of subscribers. So subscribe to the channel and let's do a lot for Amen. 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 So I never know say you, you get by like that too. <laughs> All right. So once again, this is James Gray Misa. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video on my channel, The Blue Show. You can find The Blue Show on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on our new baby Instagram, and of course on Twitter. And The Blue Show, or The Blue Show 3690 if you need to use handles. If you want to follow James personally, you can find me on Facebook and LinkedIn at The Blue, uh, sorry, at James Green, Lisa. I got confused. It happened. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at jbrew3690. So J A Y B R E W 3690. This video was shot by my good friend, Kwabna Nino. Unfortunately, he can't be part of the show today, but rest assured, he will be in a video in next to no time. I would like to thank you once again for taking the time to watch the video. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow when need be as well. And we will get back to you very soon. Bye.